Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be looking at some raw images and how to convert them. So, we're going to do this without Photoshop or anything fancy. We're going to do it with a program that's already pre-installed on all your Macs. So, to get started, let's just right click on any of these raw images. So, I'm going to right click on this one and open with, I'm going to have to select Preview. So, Preview is something that's installed on all your Macs. So I'm going to open that up. So, that's my image. It's open, okay? And from here on the top left hand side, I'm gonna see file. From file, all we have to do is go down here where you guys see export. See export? I'm gonna click right there. And we're gonna see these options. So, you guys can export it onto the same folder or anywhere else you guys like. Just choose your location. So, I'm gonna make a new folder. I'm gonna call this one other <laughs> I'm gonna put it in there and I'm gonna choose the format so down here is whatever format you guys like so what we can do is this format PNG PDF this one this one this one this one the most common one yeah it's JPEG so we're gonna do that to start off with and then we're gonna select a few others just so you guys can see how it works however right here we're on always like best quality if you guys are sending this over email maybe you want to take it down a notch, but try this out first. We can always go over these channels depending on your raw image. So we're just gonna leave this as is. It's gonna be about 14 megabytes, it's not that huge. We're gonna go and save it. So right now, if I just go back into this folder, so you guys can see I made this other folder, right? So let me just click right there. And right here we can see the JPEG. Of course, it doesn't say JPEG right away. Don't worry about it. To double check that, just going to get info. So I'm just right clicking, getting info. And right here, I can see that in fact, it is a JPEG. So up here, I can see it says JPEG image and it's ready to go. Dimensions, everything, as you guys can see, it's all good. Again, we don't have to do this with Photoshop. We can just do a preview. Photoshop, yes, it has a lot more options. There's so much that Photoshop does. However, if you guys don't have Photoshop or just want to do it the quick way, this is the quick way to do it. Now, let's say you guys have a bunch of images such as me right here. So and you want to transform them all into JPEGs. Well, it's the same thing, really. Let's just select them all. So I'm going to select every single one of them. I'm going to go ahead and open with. I'm going to select preview. And from preview, I can just go ahead and select all these guys. So I'm just going to tap on shift and it just selected all my pictures. So I can see that because they have that kind of blackish border around them. Then again, I'm going to go right into file that's up here. We're going to select export selected images. So from here, do not click on choose and that's it because it's going to export them at a format that you may not want. So let's just go right into options. And right here, you can see that it's got, it was about to export them as this format. So you may not want that, you may want that. So it really depends on you guys. Again, we're gonna do JPEG. We're gonna do best. And we're gonna go ahead and choose. That way we're exporting all these images at the same time, and it's gonna take only a couple seconds. Now, once that's done, I can go back to my folder, check out my other folder, and I can see all these JPEGs. So right now, as you guys can see, they're all JPEGs. It's all good. I can preview them and we are done. We can use these images however we like. Right now, I'm going to export different options so you guys can see the different options. So I'm going to right click on this image, go into preview and I'm going to go ahead into file once again and export. Now, like I showed you guys, you guys have various, various options. So we can choose PNG, PDF or any other one. So just to show you as another example, I'm going to choose PNG down here. I'm going to choose yeah the other folder, which is fine. I'm going to save it right there. Now let's say I want a PDF out of this. Well, I can go ahead, same image. I can go ahead, export and choose this time PDF, which is this option here. I'm going to keep this as 16. I can always turn it down to eight depends on what you guys like. And you do have other options down here, which really depends on what you guys would like to do. But to keep it standard, let's just leave it like that. PDF, go ahead, wait for it. 
export once again. And yes, there are shortcuts for this. <laughs> We're gonna go right here. We haven't done this format yet, so might as well do this format, export it. And again, we're gonna export again and again and again so we get all the formats here. So you guys can see how all the formats look like. So I'm going over every single format available right now here in preview. Now, if you guys want to adjust lighting and anything like that, I would highly suggest just running the trial version of Photoshop at least and making those fixes using Camera Raw. But for now, this is good enough. So we're gonna go in JPEG 2000. We're gonna leave it as is. So let that run a little bit. Export again. Now we're gonna select very last option because we already did regular JPEG and there we go. And we're gonna see all the different types of formats right here. So just to view the formats, I'm gonna select this option and right here on the side, you guys can see the different formats that we just exported these images at. So that's how you guys can export without using Photoshop any of these images, just transfer them and convert them into JPEGs or any other format for that matter, although they're camera raw images. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.